More than once, I've seen the true feelings of taxpayer-funded state troopers against small business owners in West Virginia. Pure contempt. They're supposed to be public servants, but many of them actually despise the public. Of course, this is how government operates. It despises the peasantry if allowed to do so. Do you want to hear the worst, worst I've ever heard? Listen to this audio clip from West Virginia State Trooper Tubo of Bridgeport, West Virginia, after a woman expressed criticism of him for being issued a citation and in a certain way. Jennifer Bruce and her husband Alex own a convenience store. During a compliance check last week, one of their employees apparently sold tobacco to somebody who was under the age of 21. Oh, the horror. So a citation was issued to the employee, but then they got a call from Trooper Tubo stating that he wanted to issue the owner's an additional citation as the business owners. Jennifer was told she had to come pick this up in person or else a warrant would be issued for her arrest. So she went in and she recorded thankfully and this happened. How are you doing today? Oh, well, how are you? Good, I got a trooper or a trooper? Trooper? Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm just going to meet him here. Okay. Well, just hang out here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Bruce? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, you're one second. Okay. Okay. Uh, but, but chance you don't have a copy of your men's license, do you? No. That's fine. By chance, can we talk first? We, yeah, we, we, we. Okay. Like, your threat to get a warrant for my arrest. Okay. Sit. Oh, wait, let me speak first. Please don't interrupt. I asked if I could sit down. Sit down. Be quiet. You're going to take the citation. You're going to walk out here with the citation. If you want to run your mouth, you can go ahead and talk. You understand me? You sit. offered to mail it. Sit down. I told you I would not mail you a ticket. Sit down. Sit down. Did you hear when he asked about a business license? You know what he wants to do? He wants to cite her for operating without a business license if she doesn't have a physical copy of it. I've seen state troopers do this in the past if they want to cause problems for a small business. This is like citing drivers for failing to sign the back of their registration card. Just pure BS to retaliate and to harass. And that's exactly what appears to have happened here. First Amendment retaliation. In response to her expression of criticism, she suffers mistreatment. But more than that, she's actually seized under the Fourth Amendment. Once his delicate little feelings are hurt, Jennifer is threatened with incarceration and told to sit down or else. Now, coming from a uniformed and armed state trooper, you better believe that that's a seizure. A seizure in retaliation for the protected free speech of criticizing public officials. A seizure made in the absence of probable cause or a warrant, and therefore a violation of her Fourth Amendment rights under the U.S. Constitution. Jennifer complained to the state police, and apparently an internal investigation is ongoing. Hopefully this doesn't drop off and get forgotten about. Um, so I'll definitely be following along to see what happens. As always, thanks for watching. You'll find more information at the link below to the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. If you want to learn more about cases like this, your constitutional rights, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss updates or future videos. Please also comment with your thoughts about this case. How would you feel if your wife, your mother, your grandmother was treated in this way by a state trooper? A tough guy, of course. If you want to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button, becoming a channel member or sponsor. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. See you next time.